Welcome guys, uh, I'm going to cover this little B75 based uh, 8 GPU motherboard just because honestly the little clips I've done on the other cheap China motherboards uh, that I bought recently have actually done pretty well. So you're looking at it right now mining with 7 GPUs, I have had 8 on it, no issues. Uh, really all you need is a stick of DDR3 RAM and a CPU cooler and it works out of the box. So the BIOS is already set to auto power on. It's got USB 3 and USB 2 rear and front headers. It's got HDMI and VGA video out. It's got Ethernet on it. It's got the ability to be powered by ATX and EPS or by two six-pin PCIe connectors, which I'll show you in just a sec. It's got two fan headers. It's got all solid capacitors, and it's got a physical power switch on the lower front corner of it as well. So this thing clocks in at a whopping 69 bucks, and uh, I'll pull up a photo, and let's go over exactly what makes it tick. Well, hey guys, now that we've had a brief look at the motherboard actually installed and mining, I want to kind of go over a photo of it Buildzoid style, just to go over a few other interesting things about it. Um, obviously, we're seeing USB ports on the board itself, and these aren't compatible with Universal Serial Bus. They're just used like a riser to transmit that PCIe by one signal. So you can run eight GPUs right off of this board right here. They do have a version that I saw a while ago, but I haven't seen it for sale recently that supports 12 GPUs. You will find a B250 version, which is a sixth and seventh gen Intel 1155 board that has 12. A little bit more money, you won't see these ports right here. You won't see this mini PCIe. But other than that, it's a fairly similar looking board. The reason why I wanted to cover this one though Actually, I think a little bit more interesting. So these two six pin PCIe connectors, when I bought the board, I really thought that this was for supplemental power for the risers, for the actual GPUs. And it turns out it's not. So what this is with this jumper right here, if you move it from the default position, which is two, three ATX power to one, two, you can actually get rid of the 24 pin ATX and the eight pin EPS and you can power the entire board and CPU with two six pin PCIe connectors. So it would run like a RebTech board essentially, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, if you have a server power supply and you don't wanna buy those expensive breakout boards, that's actually a pretty cool option. So that combined with, you could run a boot drive off of mini PCIe, or if you're motivated enough, you could run a mini PCIe to PCIe uh, adapter and run at least one more GPU off of this and it's pretty likely you could put a splitter on this and run 12 GPUs on it. I haven't done that. I don't think it's really worth it on this board. I will notice that uh, it, it has all solid capacitors, which is pretty great. I'm not sure what kind of quality they are, but this thing should actually handle humidity pretty well. VRM is fine for the Pentium or Celeron that it comes with. Uh, the AliExpress and Amazon listings all include a Celeron or a Pentium. This is an 1151 system, so... Mm, no, it is 1155, I think. But anyway, this is like a first or a second gen, I think, core series-based system. The, the, the dual core processor it's going to come with is more than enough to handle mining tasks. You won't want to do CPU mining on it, it's pretty slow. But uh, two DDR3 RAM slots. It does have four SATA ports. There is a physical power switch right down here. Mine was broken, but there is a regular conventional header, which is labeled. It has USB 3.0 on the back and the front, which is really cool. USB 2 header. So, I mean, this thing, you could use it for like a retro gaming system when it's all said and done, which is kind of nice. Does not come with an IO shield. The integrated graphics is VGA and HDMI, so you don't have to worry about those older, like Biostar boards that use this CPU that only have DVI and VGA. It's kind of annoying. It does have Ethernet. I don't know if it's 10100 or gigabit. And then two USB 2.0 ports on the back. Since these are usually shipped via slow boat, it does typically come with a CR2032 battery preloaded, which is nice. The B250 versions usually don't. So those are being rushed over from China in massive quantities right now. But yeah, this board, I seriously just put a heat sink and fan on it, put some RAM in it, plugged in the GPUs, and away I went. Um, but the main purpose of the video, again, was to tell you about this jumper, which gives you the settings right here, actually, for powering it with just PCIe. So I, I may give that a go at some point, but right now it's just being powered with ATX, as you saw earlier. So anyway, 
Uh, hopefully that was a little bit insightful. I know there's a couple other little videos on this board out there, but nothing too crazy. So I've had really good luck with it. Works on AMD and uh, NVIDIA GPUs. I'm sure it'll work fine with the upcoming Arc series of Intel chips as well. But fascinating pickup for, I think, $69 delivered. So I'll leave a link to it uh, down below if you want to check one out. That is an affiliate link, so I get a cut and uh, whatnot if you buy it. So just fair warning. Thanks for watching.